허락된 자가 아니면 결코 발을 들여놓을 수 없는 곳이 있습니다. 수없이 많은 동물이 잠든 비밀의 공간. I'm Richard Sabin. Pleasure to be talking to people who may be watching this from Korea and to introduce the, the wonderful collections at the Natural History Museum in London to you. And the important thing to remember is that this is a global collection. There are all these different collections. That's 80 million specimens across all of the scientific disciplines. This is the storeroom that's dedicated to the Cetacea research collection. That's the, there are about 92 species that we know of around the world. And in this room, we have roughly 90% of all of those species. 그러니까 이 거대한 뼈들은 공룡의 것이 아닌 모두 고래의 몸에서 나온 뼈라는 건데요. The important thing about this collection, though, is that we have a great time series, which means that we have material that was brought into the collections just a few years ago, and also material that dates back to the 17th century. 수백 년간 보관했다는 귀하디귀한 고래뼈 중에 우리를 가장 충격에 빠뜨린 건 바로 이겁니다. 사람의 손뼈라고 해도 믿을 정도인데요. So this is a specimen that I like to use to show people the similarities in anatomy of certain types of cetaceans to humans. This which although superficially does look like a human hand very similar in terms of its size, shape to a certain extent. This is in, in the entire forelimb, this is the whole forelimb. Virtually all of the cetaceans, all of the different species of whales, dolphins and porpoises have this kind of configuration, but they're covered in a paddle of soft tissue which hides these bones. 사실 고래는 아주 오래전 육지에 사는 동물이었다고 전해집니다. 약 5천만 년전 지구에 살았던 파키케투스라는 늑대와 닮은 동물이 고래의 조상이라는데요. 급변하는 육상 환경과 먹이 경쟁을 피해 바다에서 사냥을 시작하며 점차 수중 환경에 적응해 갔고 500만 년 전부터는 지금처럼 물속에서만 살수 있게 모습이 변화되었다고 합니다. 하지만 몸속엔 여전히 육지에 살던 과거의 흔적이 남아 있는 거죠. 그렇다면 왜 이렇게 오래 왜 이토록 많은 고래 표본을 수집한 걸까요? It's important to try and understand why those animals have appeared. The oceans are an incredibly unknown place still. We know more about the surface of the moon than we do the ocean floor in many cases. Generally speaking they're hidden in that marine environment. But they can tell us an awful lot about the changes which might be taking place at depth. And it's obviously it's, it's impossible to physically travel back in time, but this is like time travel. When you understand what's happened in the past, you can make projections and predictions for the future.